This video provides a general overview of methane emissions reporting to comply with the requirements in Directive 60, Upstream Petroleum Industry Flaring, Incinerating, and Venting. In case of any discrepancy between this document and an AER Directive or Manual, the AER Directive or Manual will take precedence. This video contains five sections, a user overview, workflow, facility searches, enterprise data, and methane fleet. For more information on different reporting methods, please see the other tutorial videos in this series. First, log in to the one-stop environment. You will need login credentials and the methane role assigned to your account from your company's DDS administrator. For more help on this, review the guidance by clicking on the link shown for login access. OneStop allows different user roles to be assigned by your company administrator. Your company administrator edits these roles via the AER DDS system. User roles can be differentiated by regulatory function or module. We are working with the Methane Measurement, Monitoring and Reporting or MMR module. For access to all functions described in this series of video tutorials, you should have the roles Search, Save, Submit and Enterprise Data for the Methane MMR module. For more help on this, review the guidance by clicking on the link shown below for roles. If you are unsure of your role, you can check if you have the search, save, or submit roles for the MMR module. Log into OneStop and hover your mouse over the Operate menu. Click Reporting and then click Emissions Reporting. If you do not have these options in your menus, you will need to get access to the MMR module from your company's DDS administrator to be able to follow this tutorial. To know if you have the Enterprise Data role, you can check whether you have the Reports link in the top right of each screen. If you can see this link, you have the Enterprise Data role. If you are a delegate for a company, you need to ensure that you have the same access roles as discussed here for each of the companies for which you are the delegate. You can change the company that you are acting as by changing the dropdown in the top right and ensure it reflects the correct company. The search user role allows you to view existing data. The save user role allows you to search as well as input and save data. The submit user role allows you to search, input, save data, and submit your data to the AER for review. The Enterprise Data User Role gives you access to dashboards and reports to view your data in convenient and summarized forms. The overall workflow in OneStop includes three steps, upload, review, and submit. You can navigate through upload and review multiple times prior to submission. You can also progress through this process in multiple sessions and different users can log in simultaneously or at different times to further any submission through the workflow. This means, as an example, one user could log in and upload a series of data points for methane into OneStop. This upload can be done through either the manual entry or bulk upload processes. See the other video tutorials on those processes to learn more about them. The user could then log out and later another user could log in, navigate to the work completed by the previous user, modify it, and save their modifications. A third user could then log in and view the data and submit it. Both the first and second user would be able to see the change in submission status of the data in real time if they were logged into the system as a third user submits the data. When data is first uploaded into OneStop, either via the manual entry or bulk upload process, the data is given a draft status. Users should be aware that data which is draft is not accessible for AER review. AER employees can only access submitted data. To be clear, draft data has no bearing on regulatory decisions and will not be used for compliance with data submission deadlines. Draft data can be used as a convenient location to store partially complete data sets or data that has not yet been verified or confirmed by your internal processes. Users may overwrite or modify draft data as many times as needed. Submission is the final step. Once the data is submitted to the AER, it becomes part of an official record and is retained accordingly. It is accessible for AER reviewers and may be used to make regulatory or compliance decisions. Users can view previously reported data, either from previous years or this current reporting year that has already been submitted. 
they can be viewed in three places. First, the one-stop home page in the recently submitted table. Second, in the methane emission reporting landing page in the recent activity table. Change the dropdown to submitted on the top right of the table. Finally, the enterprise search at the top of all pages. You can amend a submission at any time if an AER review has not started. Amendments can only be done with manual entry. After amending, the previous and amended data are available for AER staff review. Once you have entered data either as draft or fully submitted, you may want to find it for review or other purposes. There are two search functions that provide similar results, the Enterprise Search dialog and the Manual Entry Search dialog. Users can search using the Enterprise Search dialog, which is found in the top right of each screen. You have to click the Submissions tab and then select the submission type Methane Emissions. Search results here are limited to 250 results, so if you work at a large company with more than 250 reporting facility IDs, you may not see all the results you expect. Consider refining your search terms if you are unable to find a facility the first time. This search space is not limited by your role as discussed at the beginning of this video, so you can search methane even if you don't have a methane role as determined by your DDS administrator. Users can also search using the search feature in the manual entry dialog. Users can navigate here by hovering their mouse over operate and clicking reporting, emissions reporting, and clicking the search create new submission button. Here you must select the reporting period that you're interested in. Depending on the year, you may have less options in the dropdown than is shown in the example screen capture. Search parameters may be entered here. Search results are limited in their search dialog to 500 reporting facility IDs, so it is a bit more comprehensive than the enterprise search, but for very large companies, you may not see all the facilities you're expecting de depending on the parameters of your search. Consider refining your search terms if you are unable to find a facility the first time. Many users are interested in understanding the list of reporting facilities that have to be reported based on their operating status and operatorship for the year. There are two ways to find out if a facility must be reported by your company. According to Directive 60, if a facility was operational for any month in the reporting year, and if it is of a subtype as defined in Table 4 of Manual 15, then an annual methane emission report will be required to be submitted for that reporting year. The duty holder for reporting is the operator as defined in Petronex for the facility ID in question on December 31st of the reporting year, regardless of any changes in operatorship prior, during that same reporting year, or subsequently. Be aware, some operators may have multiple operating entities, and you must log into OneStop separately to view the facilities and reporting obligation for each BA ID. If you have a facility ID in particular you're interested in knowing whether your company is obliged to report, you can check the Petronex Facility Infrastructure Report and set the date to December of the reporting year. Finally, if you have the Enterprise Data role, you will be able to navigate to the report link in the top right and click on the MMR Submission Facility to view a report on methane emission submission data. This report presents a list of all reporting facility IDs that your company is either the operator or licensee for. In this case, and throughout these tutorial videos, to be an operator specifically refers to the operator of record as defined in Directive 60. Operator is used for short throughout. Take note of whether you are listed as the licensee, operator, or both. The reporting obligation falls to the operator. To see a list of all facility IDs that your company must report, you may filter by operatorship. Because joint operating agreements can be varied, the AER allows licensees to report on behalf of operators to OneStop. This should only occur after discussion and agreement with your operating partners. Licensees and operators are shown in this report for convenience. Filter the year by clicking the reporting period dropdown and note the submission status. 
Pending means you must report it and haven't started a draft. Draft means the data has been entered. Accepted, review, amended, and submitted means data has been submitted to the AER and the reporting obligation has been met. Review means an employee at the AER is reviewing the data. Amended means an amendment has been made. If an amendment has been started and not finished, the status will show as draft. To view the fleet average analysis and rule results, hover your mouse over the operate menu, click reporting, and then emissions reporting. Select methane fleet from the emissions navigation menu in the left column. You will have options of fleet average information that are organized by reporting year and operator BAID. Click the checkbox in the row which has the combination of operator BAID and reporting year that you are interested in. Click view to review the two fleet average analyses. The first presented is dehydrator fleet average information. This analysis is based on a previous version of the regulation and is no longer valid and not maintained or updated. Disregard all information presented here. Click the compressor fleet tab to review the compressor fleet average. You will see a table of all compressors for this BAID in this reporting year. The fields at the top provide summarized information on fleet average based on the data presented in the table. The rule result shows whether this results in additional review or baseline review. The cumulative fleet volume shows the total volume used in the equation that is presented in Directive 60 to calculate the fleet average. The number of compressors is also shown. The fleet average is displayed in the last field. If you return to the Fleet Average page and click Rule Result, you will see the results of the Compressor Fleet Average Rule pre presented in a dialog box. Disregard the Dehydrator Fleet Average Rule Result. Thank you for watching. If you have any specific questions regarding methane reporting in OneStop, you can email methane.reduction at aer.ca.